fighters, Russ Mero here and today we'll be opening the 4th extra booster in the Vanguard V series, the answer of truth. So as usual, this extra booster brings 3 clans to the V series, uh, Genesis, Great Nature as well as the much awaited Gear Chronicle. So I'm pretty excited for this because apparently the Great Nature and Gear Chronicle decks, their playstyle has changed quite uh, drastically from what they used to be. So I'm looking forward to what the new V series versions of these cards can do. Alright, and okay, it looks like we are starting off right with a double rare in our very first pack, followed by three triggers, and let's check out our first double rare that's gonna be from Great Nature, and it's Monoculus Tiger. On Vanguard and Rearguard, when this unit attacks or boosts a Rearguard, you can Soul Blast 1 and send the top card of your deck to the drop zone and activate one of the following effects depending on the type of the card. If it's a normal unit during this battle, your opponent cannot call Sentinels from the hand to guard. If it was a trigger unit during this battle, your opponent can only call trigger units from the hand to guard. So, as you guys can see, basically the Great Nature's new mechanic is to send the top card of your deck to the drop zone, which will then activate a either one of two effects depending on whether it was a normal unit or a trigger unit. Generally the effect is stronger if it was a trigger so in a sense it's sort of like similar to our drive check and up next we've got a rare from Great Nature, Tank Mouse, followed by another rare from Genesis, the Battle Maiden Izana Hime. And followed by, oh that's a pretty cool looking uh, Gear Chronicle critical trigger. Alright, moving on to the third pack. So yeah, it is quite different from Great Nature's original playstyle of giving really powerful boosts at the expense of at the expense of having to retire units at the end phase. I'm not too sure what okay, hold on. Uh, we are looking at our rare first, and this is Pencil Squire Hamasuke, followed by a double rare, if I'm not wrong, and yes, this is Steam Guard Castellia, which is going to be the draw trigger uh, perfect guard for Gear Chronicle. Followed by more trigger units. Yeah. So I guess uh, the, the way that Great Nature operates now, it feels like... Hmm, I guess it sort of fits their whole theme of like being this uh, university of animals. Feels like very calculated, as it's like a sort of very like cal calculated intellectual sort of move. Whereas the old Great Nature was more, of a, more like tapped into the wild instincts of the animals. And up next we've got a rare from Gear Chronicle and this is going to be Gangiru Dragon, a great tree. Followed by, it looks like our first triple rare, very nice, and sort of like the evolution of Monoculus Tiger. Right now, our first triple rare from Green Ninja is going to be Binoculus Tiger. On Vanguard and Rearguard, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, you can Counter Blast 1 in order to move the top card of your deck to the drop zone and apply the following effect depending on what card it was. If it was a normal unit, draw a card. If it was a trigger unit, choose one of your opponent's rearguards and retire it. Also, during this turn, Three of your front row units get power plus 5k, so that is quite a powerful effect. But yeah, uh, as I was saying earlier, the old playstyle of Great Nature by sort of like sacrificing your units for like a very powerful temporary boost felt like it was tapping into the wild instincts of the animals in order to like temporarily pull out their full power, whereas now it's just like you take the top card of your deck and check what it was. It feels very uh, intellectual, I guess. And up next, we've got a great one from Gear Chronicle, Wedge Move Dragon, followed by another rare this time from Genesis, the Hunter of the Dawn, Artemis. Alright. So far, we've got one triple rare and two double rares, and two of them are from Great Nature. So, okay, it looks like things are going pretty well, I guess. Like, <laughs> Genesis is definitely the archetype I'm least interested in this set. I wouldn't mind pulling my VR as Great Nature, although I think the Gear Chronicle one is cool. And here we have a Great One Kanzen for Great Nature, Peculate Chipmunk, followed by a rare for Gear Chronicle. Uh, this is Gingaru Dragon again, and the trigger units behind. Hopefully, I get a VR in this set because I feel like it's been quite a while since I actually got a proper VR. I always get like the additional rarities, especially the origin rares, which I really don't like because. In the end, they are, they are not worth that much. And up next, we've got the Archer of Heaven and Earth, Artemis. Followed by, it looks like a double rare for Genesis, Battle Maiden, Shita Teruhime. Moving on. And yep, so those will just be triggers again. And we are left with 5 packs remaining.
All right. Let's see what we get in this one. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What was that? Okay, it looks like I accidentally flipped the cards a bit too fast and it looks like our second triple rare is going to be from Genesis, the Battle Median Sahohime. When placed on rear guard, you can counter blast one and soul blast two. Draw two cards, put a card from your hand into your soul, and during this turn, this unit's power will increase by the shield value of the card you placed into the soul. So, wow, that is quite an interesting effect. And, I mean, if you put a trigger inside, that would probably will amount to quite a high power boost for that turn. Especially if you put uh, a heal trigger, because that's 20k shield value in the V series. So that is actually uh, can be potentially quite the powerful boost for that turn. Alright, and next we've got a rare, Steam Mechanic Nabu. Followed by another rare from Genesis, the Witch Cat Kumin. Alright. Trigger followed by a starting Vanguard for Gear Chronicle. So far, it looks like the starting Vanguards are still overall the same. Looking forward to when they are going to add effects to them, though. Alright. Zebra. Is this a rare? Yup, and it's going to be Pencil Knight Hamasuke, the evolution of the pencil. What is this? Okay, it's just a double rare, just a double rare. The Armed Instructor, Bison. On Vanguard and Rear Guard, when this unit attacks, you can counter blast one. During this turn, one of your other Rear Guards gets power plus 5k, and if this unit is on the Vanguard circle, that Rear Guard also stands. So, that's a pretty nice re-standing effect. And here we just got draw triggers, draw triggers, critical triggers, and we're down to our last two packs, and we still haven't pulled our VR or higher, so there's quite a lot we have to look forward to. How are you guys feeling about the current Vanguard V-Series anime though? Although I feel like at the end of the first season, I wasn't really that impressed, so I think I'm actually not going to continue watching in the second season. Although I still will be collecting the cards and opening them for you guys. Here we've got the Archer of Heaven and Earth Artemis again. Okay! Alright, and uh, let's get rid of the cards behind, but this is so badass, I mean... I'll be honest with you guys, I stopped playing Vanguard like before the G era, so I never actually played in the strike format, I, I only got back into it uh, now that they've revamped it, so I've never actually played Gear Chronicle before, but I've always thought that the designs of all like the time dragons, dimensional dragons with all of their like clockwork themes in their like artwork and designs and all that is super badass, super awesome and I guess this is the first Gear Chronicle like boss card that I've ever pulled in my life and it looks super awesome. And this is the Dimensional Dragon Mystery Flare Dragon. Super glad to pull this as my VR. When this unit is placed on Vanguard, activate all of the following effects depending on the total grade of all of the face-up cards in your bind zone. If the total grade is 3 or more, during this turn, this unit gets Drive plus 1. If 7 or more, this unit also gets Critical plus 1. If 13 or more, choose 6 of your units and during this turn, they get Power plus 10k. If 19 or more, at the end of this turn, you can discard your entire hand. You get an additional turn right after this one. But during that turn, you are not allowed to ride. So, wow, really pleased to get this Mystery Flare Dragon and as you guys can see, the new great 4 bosses for Gear, I mean, Gear Chronicle is still like sort of having a pseudo strike uh, mechanic where they can go into grade 4, which currently only Kagero and Royal Paladin have. But basically, uh, once you ride into your grade 4, effects will activate depending on the total grade of the face-up cards in your bind zone. So, the sort of playstyle is to accumulate cards in your bind zone so that you can get the most out of your so-called strike. And then this rare is going to be from Gear Chronicle, Steam Artist Abirata. Followed by probably our final rare is going to be our grade 1 perfect guard for Genesis, the Watcher of Hope, Pandora. And it looks, yep, there shouldn't be anything else and that'll be all for this box opening. So for some reason this box only came with one gift marker, but we got a false gift marker with Lost Legend, a grade 3 triple rare from Gear Chronic. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like and let me know what you guys think about these new yet old clans in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for future Vanguard V series booster box openings on the day of release. Our next release is going to be quite soon on November 30th and it's going to be the first trial decks for the second season of the Vanguard V series. First we have trial deck 5 featuring Misaki and Genesis as well as trial deck 6 featuring Naoki and Narukami. So with that, I hope to see you guys in the next Vanguard video.
tears that we cry just won't. Just won't. Whatever fate doesn't matter.